Welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of our Orlando holiday. So we traveled yesterday over here and now we are spending our first day of the trip in Animal Kingdom and I am so excited. You can probably tell by the ears and the outfit, but that is where we're heading to shortly. It is quarter past seven. We booked an Uber for half seven. So the whole Uber lift taxi thing from staying off site is new to us because last time we had um, complimentary buses when we stayed in Kissimmee so we're not too sure how this is going to work we're hoping it's going to be okay it took kind of a flat rate it did say you could go up or down depending on the time of day and like the traffic and if they have to pay any tolls or anything so we'll be sure to update you about how that goes when we arrive in Animal Kingdom and then we've got to go straight to pick our park tickets up because we haven't got those yet but yeah, I thought I'd just pop on and say good morning to you all. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but this is my Animal Kingdom day one outfit. So I've got my Bare Necessities ears on. So thank you so much, Avril. We absolutely love these. I'm so excited to wear them. My first pair of Disney ears on this trip. I've got this green ASOS dress because we are dining at Tusker House this evening. So I feel like it'll match all the safari vibes. I've got, if you can see, my spotty vans that I wore on travel day. And I'm taking my rose gold sequin lounge vibe. So we're just waiting for the boys now. Mark, you have just arrived about seven minutes early, which is good. But obviously, they're early. Their waiting time charges do start until it's half seven. So I'm just finishing up. I bought these insulated cups to have my coffee this morning, um, and I will finish this and dispose of it before we go. Here comes the boys, all in green, to match my khaki green colour code today. They were under strict instruction and they did well. We've arrived at Animal Kingdom. The Uber was so easy. We just paid on the app beforehand. I don't know how much it's charged us. She was so helpful. We've yeah, she was so lovely. Yeah, so she's helped us with where to go later on. Um, and now we're just here. We need to just go and find a desk to go and collect our tickets. But I'm not too sure where that is. I think maybe we have to go through bag drop first. So we'll keep you updated. I actually need pinching. Are we actually here? This is actually the gate to Animal Kingdom. I can't even cope. I'm so excited. It feels so surreal. They got stopped for bag check over there. Here's mum with a quick outfit of the day. Go on. Hey. Yeah. I've got my new bag. That we showed last night if you yeah. did watch that vlog. I've got my ears, which are your ears. Yeah, I think they were tomorrow. bespoke stitches on Instagram. I'm not yeah. too sure. And I have a next um, black top on, trying to keep them with the theme with my animal shorts from Boo and for anyone who watched the Disneyland Paris vlogs, the shoes, yeah, they came with us. We have our tickets now. These are so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. We're in. They've just let anyone who's not an early Magic Hour guest through. I think we're going to head straight to Pandora to do Flight of Passage. We're just heading now round to Pandora. We've never actually seen this, have we? Ever. So I'm super excited to see what it looks like and never mind ride flight passage because everyone says it's actually the best ride ever so and we've watched absolutely no spoilers haven't we so we've no idea what it's like we've no idea what's going to happen on it so we're super excited wow first impressions wow Can you believe it's eight minutes past eight and we've already done our first change of mind it's, of the I day? Just gonna say it's the change of mind. <laughs> we've already changed the plans. So this queue for flight passage is literally gone. I did, like miles, actual miles like out of the queue line. And we don't mind queuing and I want a lot of people to like moan about the queues because we've just gotta do it. But we've decided we're just gonna go make most of some quiet photo pass opportunities and maybe do Everest as our first one, just so we can enjoy it together than 
being stuck in this queue and when it's like 110 minutes later we'll just queue it like what can you do but I don't know if we can be bored first thing when we're all excited to stand in this queue that's like absolutely miles long it actually hasn't even stopped yet it's all the way over by Festival of Lion King you know where that is as well it's crazy Every other area of the park is so unbelievably quiet, so we're heading over to Everest now. We posted at a five minute wait, so we'll see what it's like. If you can see it over there in the distance. I'm so excited, we all love this ride, so oh, I'm just so excited. I'll say it a thousand times. It's an actual walk-on. We just got off Everest, we did it twice, didn't we? It was a walk-on both times, and how good was that? That was so much fun. I'm so glad we didn't keep a flight of passage yet, because it was just nice to get on back on a Disney ride, Such wasn't it? Such a good ride, that is. Oh. Such a good ride. Now we're off to Dinosaur. Really yeah, crazy. Dinosaur, I think, now. Oh no, that was just so good. I'm all giddy. And the lounge fly in the shop as well. We'll have to go back in there after that, because that was yeah. so nice, all the... Well, Mum, do you want to tell them what you called it? I called it a monkey, but that was just a slightly... It's a yeti. God, amateurs. I'm over here now, and we're going to do dinosaur. So we're looking a little bit shut up around here. I love this theme in though, it's so cool. I hope they don't ever get rid of it. It's a nice temperature at the moment, isn't it, Mum? Because it's hot. It's a bit like sticky because it's humid. The but the sun's not out yet. Yeah, though. it's, it's sunny, wet. but the sun isn't out, if that makes sense. So it's nice and just hot. Triceratops spin has gone. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I didn't even realise that had gone. Oh, no. That's Triceratops spin. Oh, yeah, no. So, oh, no, primeval world. Primeval world, yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur done as well, that was really good, wasn't it, everyone? Oh, boys are too busy. Yeah, I love that ride. <laughs> <laughs> and that was literally a walk on as well. There was actually a clear row, and it was just us and one other family on there as well, which was really good. So, by nine o'clock, so we actually probably spent like 15 minutes walking around Pandora, didn't we, to make yeah. our mind up what we wanted to do first. And then we managed to do Everest two times and a walk on dinosaur. So, it's going to be a good day, I think. Even if we just spent the rest of the day doing shows, we've done. I think we've done well already. Yeah, there's so. loads of shows we're going to save for the yeah, and characters as well, yeah. which is exciting. There's a short queue for this one now. in this shop and it's actually mind-blowing to me how many like jerseys there are lounge fly bags hard to find lounge fly bags as well because literally in Paris I feel like you can't find anything and these are absolutely gorgeous wow we could probably spend all day nosying around here and that's the coach collection wow that is stunning there's the Paris one as well oh that is cute and we'll just Take the time, by the way, while we're here. Appreciate mum's nails. Thank you to Gracie. Let's get the other hand in. Yeah. These are, are cute. so cute. What we want is safari. Safari mini, I think mum's after. Oh, it's all the jerseys and the ears. I'm not really a pink coloured person usually, but I love that. And I definitely need this one to match my rose gold bag. That's one I've always wanted. It's been on my list. I think this may be new. Haunted Mansion. That's pretty cool. I can't believe how big this shop is. I literally thought it was just that section there, but it just keeps going and going. I'm here for it though. I love spending time in the shops, spending all my money. <laughs> I love these magic bands. We've never had one. That is so cute. And this one here. And just to give you an idea how much are they. Ah, so those ones are 34 99 because you use the colour coding on the back. Oh, I love that Donald one. It's so cute. Oh, and I think I actually do need him. Why is he the cutest thing ever? That is 29 99 No. Oh, I'm Daisy. So we weren't even that long in there, but we seem to have lost the boys. Who knows where they've gone. Just in case you were wondering, that is the Discovery Trading Company shop. So it's right by, it's tough to be a bug. We found them, but they blend in because they're camouflaged to the green. We've come to have a nosy in here as well. There's so much stuff I want. There's so much 50th stuff. Oh, there's your bag over there, mum. 
but I'm not going to get it just yet. I can't go wild when we've been in the park for an hour. But there is definitely a big long list of stuff that I will be picking up. That's a woman on a mission for you. I think she's spotted the bag. There she is. Are you getting it now? There's quite a few of you picked it up on the way out tonight. You could use it for your next Animal Kingdom bag. Do I need another Yeah, tonight? I'll borrow it. <laughs> we just come out of that shop, which is literally just there, and now we're going to queue for a photo pass picture in front of the Tree of Life. And Mum has spotted Kevin wandering around over there. I've been so excited to see Kevin. So we've just been and had um, a Tree of Life photo at, with a, the memory maker and then Bethany really loved that cast member, she was so good, flip your lounge fly over your shoulder, all that stuff, we could have done with hiring her for the day, it was so lovely. It is 10 o'clock and we're heading back into Pandora now. I think we're just going to bite the bullet, keep flight passage. We have done so much. I know, I can't believe how much we've done. And we're also going to go snack along the way as well. I'm not sure what. I have got a list of snacks that I want to try in like other parks, but I haven't really got many Animal Kingdom ones. I do want to try, is it the Night Blossom drink? But maybe we'll try one of those later on. But for now, I think we just need, I'm feeling a Mickey pretzel. I think you have to start the day like that. <laughs> wow. We've come to Pongu Pongu, it's just this little thing here and we're going to grab a Night Blossom because we've all wanted to try it, haven't we? Well, these have since I mentioned it this morning but it's been on my snack list so I can tick that one off. I'm hoping it's as good as everyone says it is. When we asked Adam what he wanted, he hadn't read the menu properly and just came round and said, oh yeah, I'll just have that blue one and that's the Mara Margarita. Sorry mate, not today. What's the verdict? What's some little berries on it? Boba balls or something. Yeah. Nice ad. What's the verdict? You've not tried it yet, do you want me to hold it? Nice treat from Bethany there for her and Adam trying out the um, Hayes you, money Beth. card. Right, after all the faffing and taking the photos of it, we're actually trying it. It's no? kind of like a twister, melted. Twister, I'll leave you in England if you know what one of those is. So we've been in the Keeper Flight of Passage now for about an hour and this is where we're at. We have no idea how much further we have to go but we can see the avatar over there so I'm excited to walk past that in the queue. But it's not been too bad so far. I mean it's slow moving but it's nice and cool in here so we're not really bothered. And we've had a chance as well to have a look at our memory pass photos and download some of those. <laughs> in this part of the queue now and I don't think we've got far to go hopefully but we'll update you when you get out. We are off flight of passage. How long did we queue for in the end? So we got in the queue at 20 past no, 10 no, and it's no, now no. 10 past 12 but no, no, no. I thought it was worth it. What did you think? Yeah definitely brilliant. Mum? Absolutely brilliant. And Adam? <laughs> I thought it was so good definitely worth the wait and it was so nice not to know what we were expecting as well like we just genuinely didn't have a clue what it was even going to be like we'd heard things about like the type of seating but genuinely no idea what it would be like but it was amazing so we're all smiling after that one and I think we're going to go and head and find some food now because like I said we have got a dining reservation at half five later on this evening but yeah, we just want to grab a snack so we're not overly hungry. You can definitely feel the heat now you're out of here as well. It was so cool in there. And it's hot, hot, hot out here. This is what we picked up. So Dad's gone for a hot dog. I've gone for the barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese. And Mum has gone for a child meal. Now she's picked up a pulled pork platter and it's literally just a pot of pork. <laughs> Are you not happy? I'm really happy, Doesn't 
crash. Oh no. Oh no! Just queuing along now for the two o'clock show of the Lion King, which I'm so excited for, and I'm so glad it's back in all its glory, ready for us to watch again. The festival of the Lion King was really good, wasn't it? I know, I'm so glad it's back, but that was really good. I didn't film in there because they told you not to, even though some people were, but I don't know whether you're allowed or not, but I thought I'd best not. But yeah, it was so good, and now we're just in the queue for... Tom Jumbo area. Unfortunately, your trip has been delayed. Currently, animals are blocking the path of our safari vehicles. Oh, that's okay. We apologize for the inconvenience, and thank you for your patience. As soon oh, as we are just, moving again, yeah, we shall work quickly now. to get you out of your safari. These are my favourite things ever. Hard to tell just like at a quick glance like this which is which, but animals, so all of them hanging out together down there as a pack. Favorite trait of the elands is that sometimes the males are the second eland up there on that little hill. You can also see the two of them there. Sometimes those males will go around the savannah gathering up leaves and flowers and by giraffe. And there's going to be some zebras in just a moment as well. Those are Hartman's Mountain zebras that you'll be seeing. You can see that giraffe stretching its really long neck. And then those zebras there on the right. You see hollow. Not all that heavy for the animal. Even as monkeys, you can see another one kind of peeking its head up there. The males will grow to be about 100 pounds large, and the females are about 30 to 40 pounds. Their skin is very, very sensitive, especially around those big ears and those trunks that you just saw that up. When we come around this island here, you're going to see those greater flamingos hanging out, like the ones that you're seeing there. So eventually, as those flamingos get older and eat more of that shrimp, they will get that pink color as well. As you could probably guess, that smaller one that's a little bit closer to us is not quite there yet. We do have some younger rhinos. We can't stop just because this other rhino is so close to us, but on the left you can probably see some cheetahs over there kind of lounging by one of those trees far left there. They do look a lot like babies, but most of them there are fully grown. That's about as big as they're ever going to get. Did everyone enjoy the safari? That was fantastic. Dad should go in there. These boys can't keep up with us. We saw loads of animals then. No, yeah, it was really good. And we literally, it was basically a walk on a park and it was a little bit slower getting ready because of the animals crossing the road. But otherwise it would have been like a walk on, but we only wait like 10 minutes in the end, which is really good, wasn't it? And it's like a 20 minute ride as well. It's a good long 15 ride. 15 minutes, that's really good. We enjoyed that one as always. <laughs> Oh, I just loving all these photos, aren't you? Just making our way through the park now. We've got a reservation, like I say, at half five at Tusker House. So we're just trying to think out what we can do that we'll still have time to get to our reservation in time. We just grabbed a spot under here. It's by, I don't really know where we are, but it's right here if you recognise this area of like the lake and it's absolutely pouring it down now so we've just dodged it under this little building here that was done the storm's over and done with in like five minutes so we were just sheltered we were really lucky to have somewhere just to dodge the rain then and then we're going to move on and you know what i think we're going to try and do everest again third time today so it's a calm does it it's posted at a 15 minute wait and this is the first joffrey's that we've seen we've never had a joffrey's before but we've been wondering what the rave's all about. I don't even like coffee, but Mum will have to try one later on. We're back here again for round three of today. 10 minute wait, that's what we love to see.
to enjoy, so I'll you call it meal. And this is a starter that our service brought over, so it's a salad, some bread, some um, papadoms and some sauces there. This looks gorgeous. The mains have just arrived now. I'm not too sure off the top of my head what all this is, but I think it's like chicken meat pork, got mac and cheese and like a shrimp curry. It looks all delicious. On a scale of 1 to 10, how full is everyone? Ten. Okay, on a scale of full to Pizza Hut last night, how full are you? Uh, I don't know whether I'm as full as last night's Pizza Hut, because that was ridiculous, <laughs> but I am full. 10 out of 10. Oh, and here are the desserts. With vanilla cupcake, two of five brown with marshmallow bumblebee chocolate. I feel like more dessert left here. Oh, thank you. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> <laughs> we need more Joe's having all of those. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Adam doesn't have one yet. Uh, yeah, he needs one on his forehead, I think. Oh. That was 10 10 wasn't it fantastic i'm so glad we did that it was nice to do it on our first day as well and there's the starbucks we've just come across that we've been looking for all day <laughs> oh, i've been after those mugs i don't know if any of you have seen them but i think it's like the starbucks ones that you get in each park um, and they do like city ones because we got the disneyland paris one and they do like london ones and manchester ones and stuff but it's something i've been after so i'm gonna pop in whilst we pass and see if it's in there First Starbucks cup secured, or mug shall I say, from Animal Kingdom, and I want to try and get them all. We're heading out the park now, it is half six, and we've just finished our meal, so we're all quite full. Um, but we've had such a good day, we've done so much. And now we're going to hop on a bus to Disney Springs, um, maybe have a mooch around there if I can convince everyone to let me go in some shops. No, Could be dangerous. Be a quick visit. And then we're going to get a taxi back to our hotel. But yeah, we've had so much fun in Animal Kingdom, we've done so much and it's been such a good first day. On a Disney bus! I don't know where we left off the bus before, but now we've ended up at the Riviera Resort doing something we've never ever done before, which is Resort Hop. We've chosen our right times, so it's like 7.30pm, but we decided to get a Animal Kingdom um, hotel bus to here, have a little mooch around and order an Uber from here because it was like $10 cheaper, maybe even $15 cheaper, and we just wanted to have a nosy because we would have had to wait like 45 minutes for the Uber anyway, so we're excited to have a look around here, it looks very posh, doesn't it? Have a nosy in the shop. This one is so beautiful. 
so it is 10 to 9 and we are back in the room we ended up getting a bus from disney's animal kingdom to the riviera resort had a, like literally a five minute walk around there before our uber came to collect us and bring us straight back to our hotel on international drive so that was super easy um it was quite nice to kind of do our first bit of resort hopping should we say um because we've never been there before we've never re really looked at resorts that we haven't stayed in so it was quite nice to check that out for five minutes and then we just sat and had a chill and drink in the lobby which was nice as well i think our hotel did quite a lot of events and conventions because last night there was a um like a dj disco event happening to be fair you couldn't hear it in the rooms which was amazing but um that was quite interesting just like to see everyone and see the signs for it and then tonight it was like a bodybuilding competition so we had a little nosy what everyone was up to there um, and now we're just back in the room, had a little discussion about what we're doing tomorrow and we are at Epcot tomorrow so me and mum are going to get up nice and early to try and get one of the Guardians of the Galaxy um, Cosmic Rewind like virtual queue passes so fingers crossed we can get one of those, I really hope we can. If not we have got other chances in the trip to try and get one so yeah I think I'm just going to call it night now, hop in the shower, wash this crazy hair, it has actually withstood the heat quite well. But yeah, I thought I'd just pop on, wrap up the vlog. So thank you so much for watching. It's been an amazing first day. We have done so much. I actually can't believe how much we've done. Um, we had an amazing few hours riding rides. We met characters, obviously in our Tusk House dining reservation, which was absolutely amazing. It's so magical. Um, it'll just never get old meeting characters and having amazing food and parks and it just all feels so surreal i'm so grateful for, to be here so yeah i'm just gonna get an early night i say early probably faff around now choose what it is to wear for tomorrow only joking i've got a spreadsheet for that so yeah thank you so much if you've watched we really love sharing our um, adventures with you all and we can't wait to actually just sit and watch them when we get home and we've got disney blues ourselves not like i'm waiting to get home at all but it'll just keep the magic going a little bit to watch back our memories that we've made so thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed please like and subscribe we will have of course many other disney vlogs and universal vlogs coming um because we are here for 17 nights which also i feel like i've mentioned that a thousand times so apologies if i have but yeah thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow in the next one bye